Yo, what up? Here we are. It's me, Dylan Warren, Alan Bogut, and Andy James Milankovic. Today, we are going to take out the all-terrain skateboard. Show you guys what the difference is between the all-terrain skateboard and a mountain board. We're here at Listerfield Lake Park here in Melbourne. I'm going to give her a rip. Let's go. Yeah. Metal militia. All right, Alan, have you ever rode an all-terrain skateboard before? No. This is your first time. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. Well, do you want to start by rolling down this dirt bank? Not really, but better start somewhere. Eh? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you going up the big hill now? Yeah, I reckon. Let me just loosen these trucks a bit. All right. All right, Alan's just loosening up the trucks. But if you guys can see here, these are the MBS old terrain wheels. They are nice and big, so you can get over any sort of terrain. These are actually the new MBS riser pads, so your wheels are higher off the deck, so your wheels don't rub on the deck. So it's important you buy the riser kit with the wheels if you want to adapt this to your own skateboard. You got it, man. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, baby! Could this be a uh, pretty rock and roll? Yup. You reckon I could get it with the one push? Of course, Dylan. Yeah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I missed. I missed my foot. <laughs> You gotta beat me, okay? So I gotta get it first try. You gotta get it first try. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was way better than mine. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. You. <laughs> All right. What you're gonna do is you're gonna manual the tabletop jump over there. All right, Al. I'm gonna do top to bot top to bottom. Uh, let's get it. I'm gonna follow you. Oh, oh pre-grab. Manny. Oh. Oh. Yeah. We're changing locations the bottom half of the track and I've found another rock. I'm gonna try and drop it in. Lots of rocks here. <laughs> Lots of rocky Balboas. This one's actually kind of gnarly. It's like a drop in, get ready and ride sort of setup. You can all nose dive. That's what's gonna happen for sure. Oh! <laughs> Dude, rock straight in the bum. Oh, uphill lander. Dude, it's the uphill landing. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. <laughs> oh! All right, Alan's gonna do the pump track. Uh. All right, Al, see if you can make it over these dirt bumps. Here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's better. Um, I always tell people it feels like, it turns like a skateboard, but it feels like a snowboard. Yeah, because in snowboard you can like, skate it easily yeah. sideways. Yeah, you can still kind of do that yeah. with a mountain board. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's rad. Alright, should I drop in? See if I can make it to the bottom. Thanks, dude. 
All right, if you're wondering why I'm wearing different clothes, because we're actually, this is day two of filming. Ran out of time yesterday. So let's see what Alan can do on the old terrain skateboard. All right, Alan, so here we are. This is a bit of a famous mountain board spot here at Listerfield Lake, the classic drain run. Do you think you can drop it in on the old terrain skateboard? Yeah, I reckon I got it right here, Mike. Well, first tee, here we go. Oh my god! Hell yeah, dog! Great work, Alan. Should I uh, join on the mountain board? Yeah, maybe. Back me up. Maybe jump over this little crevasse. Chuck a front one up. <laughs> front one up? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Obviously one of the cool things about the all-terrain skateboard wheels is that you can literally push your skateboard around on dirt, go over rocks, no troubles. You won't get any... Uh, chalkies. Chalkies, that's what I'm looking for, <laughs> thank you so much. And um, now we're going to see how many rock puns you guys can come up with in the comments section about Alan doing a rock ride. <laughs> rock riders. It'll be very rock and roll. Yeah, sick, you did that easy. It looks quite vertical. Dude, imagine that. That'd be so rock and roller. Oh, you got that easy. I've just got to be able to bring it back in. Yeah, in. bring it back. Look how thick these wheels are. Yeah, man. dude. Long way. Need a bit of leverage. Oh. 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 Yeah! He's going again, ladies and gentlemen. Alan Boger's a perfectionist. Yeah! All terrain! Hell oh, yeah, Alan. All right, so as I was standing there filming Alan do that amazing rock to Frankie, whoa, I saw this little rock drop in. Do you think I could do it? There's a bit of a drop at the end. I'm gonna try to drop in and then go down there. You ready, Al? Yep. Rocky Balboa. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so another difference between a skateboard or an all-terrain skateboard and a mountain board is where the trucks are positioned. On a skateboard, it's obviously positioned behind the nose and tail. So all your leverage when you're doing manuals and ollies is over the back of the board which is great because you can snap it down nice and easily and when you're balancing it a manual it's a nice spot to be because you've got a lot of leverage on a mountain board it's a little bit different your trucks are behind your back and front foot so your leverage comes from up here so it makes it a little bit trickier for manuals and nose manuals but it's great for when because you've got the bindings you can lift it up a lot easier and it makes it good for doing big dirt jumps. It's a little bit more stable too because your stance and the length of the mountain board is quite wide. So when you're going fast down hills, mountain boards are great for that. All right, should we go do some more skating and mountain boarding? Okay, so one of the big visible differences between a mountain board and a skateboard, an old terrain skateboard, is the wheel size. A mountain board wheels are normally eight inches and the all terrain skateboards are about uh, 
well they are 100 millimeters so obviously the mountain bob wheels are a lot bigger which is great because you can ride over really rough terrain you can go really fast you can pretty much ride through whatever you want um, maybe not so much on the all-terrain wheels but the all-terrain wheels being a skateboard wheel same makeup same urethane um, it's still really good on really hard surfaces like this ground here it's quite compact we're gonna bomb this hill ride some dirt ride some gravel and head on to some grass and uh, see how the the AT as you can people call that AT skateboard all-terrain skateboard goes Ready, Al? Yeah, bruh. Oh, you can pick up the beat by talking like this. Pretty sick. Now I'm on the grass. I'm gonna ollie this thing. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, we're on the beach. <laughs> I just stacked it in front of everyone. <laughs> Gorgeous day down here at Listerfield Lake. He goes Alan behind me. So overexposed. All right, Alan, so you've been on the all-terrain skateboard all day. This is your first time today. You did so well. What did you think of your first time on the board? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty fun. It's pretty cool to uh, ride some new terrain that I usually can't on my normal skateboard. Um, and it goes really fast. Uh, yeah, it took a bit of getting used to, but yeah, I reckon it's uh, she's pretty fun. All right, guys, so in conclusion, if you want to get a mountain board, they're great for doing big jumps, going really fast. Um, you've got the bindings, you can pretty much ride every, whatever you want. If you want to get into the all-terrain skateboard, it's awesome that you can do flip tricks, you can do different grinds like you can on your normal skateboard, and you can ride a few new spots, find some more terrain to rip up. And these knobby wheels give you heaps of grip, but you can do some, still do some pretty sick set slides. I hope you like this video, guys. If you want to see more videos just like this of us riding the all-terrain skateboard, or the mountain boards, hit the links coming up. If you want to follow Alan on Instagram and see escape videos, it's at Alan Bogut. I'm at Radical Face. We'll see you guys next time on the hill. You.